Did you know about this function in Python? Let's say you've been hired as an intern and are given two lists, one with student names and another with their respective courses. Your task is to combine them so that each student is paired with their corresponding course. At first, you might think of using the built-in zip function, which combines two or more iterables. And then you pass the student list and course list to the zip function, so when you run the program, it looks like everything works until you realize one student is missing from the final result. Now this happens because the student list and the course list are not of the same length, which means the elements present in the name list are greater than the elements present in the course list. And the zip function only pairs up to the shortest length list and ignores all the remaining items from the other list. So, since the course list has fewer elements than the student name list, the last name gets ignored. So now to fix this, we can use the zip longest function from the iter tools module. So first we have to import the zip longest function from the iter tools module. By importing zip longest, we can now handle the mismatched length of the list. Now we have to replace the zip function with the zip longest function. What this function will do is, it will pair the elements up to the shortest length as usual, but for any extra elements, it will assign the default value of none. So now if we run the program, then you can see that, even if John does not have any course selected, he is still considered inside the output with the default value of none.